What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, there's been a lot of speculation and rumors that have been happening as of late of who is John Cena potentially supposed to face at next year's WrestleMania, man. We're already getting into the WrestleMania rumor mill, and John Cena name has popped up as potentially returning for WrestleMania 39 and maybe having an opponent or having a match at this uh, next uh next year's wrestlemania so we're gonna check this out man this was on uh bleacherreport.com and um i've been seeing it all over youtube like people talking about it. even seen it in a couple of the live streams uh we've done uh, as of late of who john cena will be facing will he return at wrestlemania all this type of stuff so we're gonna check that out let's get right into the article man it says john cena's best options for rumored wwe wrestlemania 39 match fans should expect wrestlemania 39 to be loaded to be a loaded show as wwe returns to hollywood for the first time since 2005 all eyes will be on a pro wrestling juggernaut and we will see probably and we will probably see as many cameos and legends as possible so it shouldn't surprise anyone that john cena may appear on the grandest stage of them all in april the 16-time world champion last return on the june 27th episode of raw to celebrate the 20th anniversary of his debut he has competed for the company at least once every year since 2002 though he wasn't available for the last two iterations of the show of shows earlier this week a rumor surfaced that suggested that he could be set to wrestle a at the iconic show in 2023 according to lewis uh dang dang dangorf I don't even know how to pronounce that. Of give me sport, Russell Votes explained that a match at WrestleMania 39 in Los Angeles will help him become a bigger crossover star like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Now that now that's just a rumor, but it doesn't seem that far fetched. This year's two night event at SoFi Stadium appears to be the ideal destination for uh for the star of Peacemaker to secure his latest WrestleMania moment. After all, WWE will probably try to enlist other household names such as The Rock, Becky Lynch, Ronda Rousey to garner mainstream attention. Some viewers may see this as a retread, but there are ways to use Cena effectively. These are the best options for his rumor match ahead of April 1st and 2nd. And I believe they talk about a, a matchup with uh, Gunther, a match with Stone Cold, and a match with Austin Theory. And I want to give my opinions on just some of those ideas as well. Uh, we was actually talking about it in the live stream, the AEW live stream, and these three, uh, <laughs> these uh, these uh, individuals popped up, which is crazy. These three individuals were some of the people that people were naming as someone that could face John Cena. Logan Paul was in the mix as well. Um, to be honest with you, all of them seem pretty good choices. If John Cena is to come back, I don't have a problem with him having a match with Gunther. You know what I'm saying? I think, yeah, we've seen John Cena go against a foreigner, but I think this would be a good way to really get Gunther over even more than what he is already as a very credible threat if he was to, uh, to face John Cena. The Logan Paul, that just sets, that sells itself because Logan can go. I think they would have some interesting back and forth with John Cena. I think that would be pretty good. That, hell, John Cena could put him over as well. Uh, and the Austin Theory, I really like that one because of how how they're treating Austin Theory now. Uh, after he's lost a briefcase, we could maybe see the Austin Theory that we've needed to see for a very long time go against John Cena. And they've had their back and forth as well. And this could be the passing of the torch from John Cena to Austin Theory as the next big guy, the next, the next big thing in the company, you know, the next top guy in the company. And then, of course legend versus legend two eras of wrestling he john cena is the embodiment of the added uh the ruthless aggression era stone cold steve austin is the embodiment of the attitude era now here's my caveat about the stone cold situation what he did at wrestlemania last year it was more of a brawl wasn't really more of a wrestling match but he looked good out there my only thing is if they were to have a wrestling match how would Stone Cold be able to stack up? 
going in a like a 15 to 20 minute match would he be able would his body be able to do it that's that's the real question do i think it would be good i think it possibly could be do i think the back and forth will, on promos would be lit i'm all for it I, I i think me personally if i had to choose i would choose more so austin theory i think gunther is cool i think logan paul would be a good option but logan's kind of He's he's more over just in the social media presence. People know who he is, and his his last few matches have been fucking fantastic. So I think you can match it up with anybody. I think he'll be fine. Gunther, I think he's gonna be fine regardless. He doesn't really need that. Stone Cold, I'm all for him being at WrestleMania uh, this this year again. I don't know if he needs to be wrestling again, but it, it has to make sense if they were to pick an opponent or whatnot john cena does does fit the bill there because that would be a big match that we've never ever seen before so i think that would be cool but if i'm thinking about the future austin theory austin theory being the guy in my opinion in my opinion austin theory potentially being the guy to beat john cena at wrestlemania to be the next guy up like the passing of the torch type situation i'm all for that if they continue to book austin theory like they did this past monday night this aggressive serious i'm not taking no bs from nobody austin theory they keep booking them like this i'm all for it that's just my personal opinion all these options are really good none of these options are actually bad so they have they have time to play you know play pick and choose which route they want to go so honestly this kind of video uh is, is, is a discussion that needs to be had in the comment section down below so let me know down below who do you guys think if john cena was to come back for wrestlemania who did he who should he face should it be gunther should it be stone cold or should it be austin theory or logan paul out of those four guys which i think would be at the top of the list who do y'all think stone uh um john cena should face at this year's wrestlemania let's have a discussion down below in the comment section but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 100k i appreciate y'all kicking to me see y'all in the next one peace